Hello, chemistry students. Today, we will be performing our quantitative separation of a mixture experiment. We will be separating a mixture of substances using physical, not chemical, changes. In this investigation, we will determine the percentages of table salt and sand in a mixture. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to obtain an unknown sand and table salt mixture. Today we will be using unknown C. Then we're going to, to obtain a clean and dry 100 mil beaker. And we're going to determine the mass of this beaker. So the mass of our 100 mil beaker is 67.3073 grams. Okay, so now we've gone ahead and we've added about five grams of our unknown sea salt and sand mixture to our beaker. We're going to reweigh our beaker. And our beaker plus the salt and sand mixture is 72.3694 grams. Okay, so now that we have our sand and table salt mixture in our beaker, we're going to measure out 10 milliliters of deionized water. We have our 10 milliliters of deionized water here. We're going to add this to our beaker. And then we've set our beaker up on a iron ring with wire gauze connected to a ring stand. And we have a Bunsen burner here. And we're going to light our Bunsen burner. We're going to use a low flame and have our beaker sitting about two to three centimeters above that flame. And we're going to heat our water and sand salt mixture for about two to three minutes. Okay, so while our solution, our water and our sand and salt uh, gently heat, we're going to take a piece of filter paper. We're going to fold it over in half twice. Pull it over once, pull it over a second time to make a quarter piece of pie. Then we're going to weigh this. Okay, so we're going to weigh our piece of folded filter paper. And the mass of that filter paper is 0 0.8451 grams. Okay, so at this point we've removed our beaker with our sand, salt, and water mixture from the heat. It's warmed. We're going to stir with the stir rod. 
just to make sure that all of the salt has dissolved. I'm gonna rinse the stir rod with the eye. Okay, and then we've taken our uh, quartered filter paper and we've added it to a funnel. And we've set the funnel on an iron ring and we're going to filter our water, sand, and salt mixture through the filter paper and collect the filtrate, which is the solution, in a 250 mil beaker. So we'll just pour this into the filter paper. And we're gonna let gravity pull our solution through the filter paper. So this is called gravity filtration. Okay, and we're gonna use some deionized water to help aid in the transfer of all of the salt and sand solution into our funnel. So we've transferred, at this point, we've transferred all of our sand and salt solution into the funnel, and we'll let this finish filtering by gravity filtration. Okay, so our gravity filtration is finished. We're going to gently remove our filter paper with our sand. And we're going to spread it out on a watch glass. We'll then take this watch glass with our sand on the filter paper and we're going to place it in a drying oven until the filter paper and the sand are completely dry. We're also just going to make sure we rinse whatever salt might re be remaining in the funnel down into the beaker. Okay, so we next need to pre-weigh an evaporating dish. So here's the evaporating dish we're going to be using. And our evaporating dish weighs 43.3343 grams. Okay, so we have our pre-weighed evaporating dish on top of wire gauze on an iron ring. And we're gonna use a Bunsen burner to heat our salt water solution so that we can evaporate off the water and be left with the salt. So we first need to light our Bunsen burner. We just need a moderate flame. We're then going to add a portion of our salt water solution to the evaporating dish. So 
So now we'll let this heat and evaporate off the water so we'll be left with the salt. We want to be sure that we do not let it boil or splatter because we'll lose some of our salt if that happens. So we're just going to watch this. If it starts to boil or splatter, we'll remove it from the heat and let it cool for a little bit. After we evaporate a fair portion of this water, we will add the rest of our salt water solution and to collect the remaining salt and evaporate the rest of the water. So we'll just let this go for a little bit. Okay, at this point we've been heating for a little while. Our volume has um, decreased as the water has evaporated. So we're going to add some more of our salt water solution to the evaporating dish. And we'll let it keep evaporating off. Okay, so at this point, our filter paper and our sand have finished drying. So we're going to go ahead and weigh our filter paper plus our sand while our water continues to evaporate. So the weight of our filter paper plus the sand is 4.3306 grams. Okay, so at this point we've transferred all of our salt water solution into the evaporating dish and we've evaporated all of the water off. So we're gonna turn off the Bunsen burner and let the evaporating dish cool to room temperature. We've allowed our evaporating dish to cool to room temperature. And so now you can see the salt that we've collected in the evaporating dish. That's our salt from the salt and sand mixture. So now it's cool the room temperature. We're gonna go ahead and weigh this to get the mass of the evaporating dish plus the salt. Okay, so we have our evaporating dish plus the salt on the balance. And the mass of our evaporating dish plus the salt is 44.8925 grams. That concludes our quantitative separation of a mixture experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.